Let's see. Okay, so folks. I'm live on YouTube? Cool, cool, cool. So folks, I'm Random Bystander here and I'm gonna be reacting to the Indie World Direct that happened that's happening on April 17th, 2024. Um and you may be thinking, Random, why didn't you do this live? I was at the dentist when this was happening. While whatever what game was announced today happened, I was getting my teeth cleaned. And it was a it, it went well. A little painful. I need to floss more. My dentist said so himself. He's like, you need to floss more before you go see an indie world. And I'm like, okay, so I'm going to floss. So chat, tell me to floss more. Um, I have no idea what has been announced. Um, I know nothing. I haven't looked at Twitter. I haven't looked at it. I, I haven't looked at my discords at all to see anybody gush or not gush about anything. I haven't even looked at like the YouTube recommendations. I had someone send me the link to the video. Thank you, Meg, for going through the trenches for me. I appreciate it very, very much. Um, please, please do not spoil things for me. Ah, oh, shoot, hang on. Hold on. Give me a second. I want to do this because this is a good opportunity to advertise my video. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to mute it. No, no, come back. I'm sorry. Going to video blind too? Nice. Thank you for the YouTube. Uh, I'm also doing the thing where like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've been doing like a thing on both my YouTube stream and my Twitch stream. Also, Claire, howdy. I didn't even know this was today. I'll watch yours react to it. Floss more. I also didn't know it was today. Nobody knew. It literally was announced yesterday. It literally was announced yesterday. And I don't understand why. Well, I do understand why. They're, they're kind of rushing it. They don't really care. Uh, but before I do that... Watch Random's latest YouTube video. And I'm going to post that. Hi. Got to pin it. Another spoiler. Random doesn't read the chat. I do! It just takes a while for the YouTube chat to go on my OBS. So, like, I have to look at both for a bit. So, I apologize. Yeah, they kind of announced it very late, if I'm being honest, chat. They literally announced it the day before. So, like, the only reason I knew about it was because... Uh, I don't know. Because I'd looked through Twitter and I was diligent enough. Because otherwise, we don't know a thing about it. I know nothing. I, I know nothing. So, let me just get stuff going. I'm gonna have the YouTube chat here, because for some reason it's not telling me if people are responding to the chat. Uh, for some reason, so I'm gonna have that up here while I read. It takes a bit. It takes a bit for some reason. And I don't know why the bot I use. Because I have a bot on my OBS that reads both chats at the same time. But for some reason it takes forever for it to read it at first, so I... And I'm really bad at reading the messages. So, let me just turn off the chill indie music. Uh... And, um, let me make sure this is good volume. It's not. Here we go. Uh, are you guys ready? I, d again, low expectations. I'm not expecting Hollow Knight Silk Song here. I know people made memes about it. Um, but, like, this is not, a, like, a, oh, my God, this is going to be so hype. This is more of a, hey, you will get introduced to some indie game you never heard of before. And that is cool. Support local indie devs. They are much cheaper than AAA games. We went over that in the stream and overall it's just a great it's just a good time just just to support indie games where's my mouse there it is there we go all right now if you guys type something in the youtube chat i should be able to hear you you sh i should be able to read it uh wash and claire if you want to test something you're more than welcome to i picked up my cap and gown for graduation this morning nice i hope graduation goes well anyways there's let's start A light bulb. Indie World. And welcome to Indie World. Hooray! I'm Amber. And I'm Tyler. We're back with more indie games coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Okay. All right, let's get. Can you guys? Uh, what was that? Oh, I'm just. 
just prepping for our first segment. Oh, is it Little Kitty Big City? I actually be kind of looking forward to this one if that is the case. Hey, Micah, you ready to get started? Yep. Pip's here. Hello. Yay! It oh, is. I love this on. game. Oh. I don't think anybody's gonna notice. Let's yes, go. I am, Claire. Don't Hi, worry. I'm Matt, director and lead developer on Little Kitty Big City. I've been looking I'm forward to this. I hope they have a release date. And, I, and if it's and today, I'm gonna be like, fuck. Little Kitty Big City is a game about exploring a weird and wonderful neighborhood as a little cat. The game idea originated when I was teaching my kids how to code. And it's grown a lot since then. But the core is still the same. It's a game about being a little cat. I did not expect the voice to come out of that cat. Distractions. Made by people who love distractions and cats. Meow. I hope you love Kitty as much as we do. I do. I we nailed it. Yeah, and I think I've worked out the filter thing. Look. Not again. <laughs> cute. Very cute. Your I have been looking forward to this game for a long time. We even played the demo on Steam Next Fest once. You're taking a nap in your favorite spot. Oh, hang on, hang on, lost. hang on. The bots have been wild on Twitch lately. Uh, they have been wild. Hang on, give me a second. Blame the bots. I gotta get rid of you. You piece of shit. Bye. Why is the cat a VTuber? I know, right? It's weird. I did not expect that. All right, okay, here we go. Talk about a near catastrophe. In this adorable adventure, you'll navigate a vibrant Why is the cat a VTuber? That's a good question. Why is everybody a VTuber? Why aren't I a VTuber? Check your to-do list. God, this game is was adorable, and I am very excited to play it. I, I, I'm planning to get a code. I don't know if I will. I have a feeling they're going to do it later today, and this is going to screw up my game uh, stuff today. Get petted by humans, not things over, you know, normal we, cat stuff. Oh, kitty. we didn't mention kitty customization. Oh, we know like about that. The, the ladybug hat. hat. Like a ladybug, a shark. Oh, shark you hat. You can also oh, there's so many good stuff. Whenever you want. This is a very adorable oh, game. A big stretch. It's a great way to look cute while stirring up some mischief. <laughs> Get ready to dig your claws in. When, when little kitty big May 9th! Okay, okay. that's sooner than expected. Not today, though, so that gives me time. Today Thank you. E Alright, May 9th. We will be playing that day one. I will be honest with you. We will. That is a day one game. I get that feeling. Like you're meant for something more? Maybe. That's been kind of my deal since Ooh. Very futuristic. Bugs. Looks like a Metroid so game? There's something can't yeah, move forward has been kicking butt atari and fly Kotek needs to be stopped and i'm the one who can do it oh okay this looks uh, intriguing probably yars rising hey there emi kimura here aka it looks a little choppy like running wise but it's a cool concept and like an interesting metroidvania i do have a potato youtuber youtuber more yars that this is a franchise into a weird intergalactic conspiracy involving mega conglomerate kotek Help me run, jump, hack, and blast my way into unlocking the mysteries of this corporate empire in Yars Rising. Launching on the Nintendo Switch system later this year. Year. <laughs> That's year. cute. <laughs> I didn't know this was a franchise, Mantle. It looks cool. It looks cool. Ooh, Pixel. It's me, my a reflection. A journey of self-discovery awaits in oh. this exploration-based adventure. Refined self, the personality the test game. Android, the creation of a doctor who has since passed away. Every action you take and decision you make during your journey reveals a little more about who you are. I love the and art. No I right do. Choices. Travel to places. And I love the Atari 2600 Dad Classic Year Yards Revenge. Nice. That's cool, Mantle. Piece together the future wow. of Doctor I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm encapsulated by the pixel art and the concept. At the end of your journey, your personality type will be revealed. With 23 personality types to discover, you can make different choices in each place I and see where they I really want to play this, at least just to see my personality type. Leader? What about a wise sage? Or even a strong-willed samurai? Nice. And if you're curious about the personality types of other players... 
You can share your results with each other and compare your choices. Oh, that's dope. That is dope. This seems like a later today game. Is this a later today game? Find out who you are in Refined Self. Summer. A personality test game. Launching as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch. The game is pretty, this, this game is pretty accurate too. Interesting. I have to try it. I can't hey wait everyone. to try it. We're Spy Garden Games. Doggo! Go. Sticky Business. We drew our inspiration. <gasps> Sticky from Business? From I know that game, game. isn't coming, coming to Switch. On social media. It's been so inspiring to see all those fantastic artists create cute stickers, assemble beautiful packages. Oh, please tell me it's coming to Switch. I've been wanting it to. That dog was so, so cute. We wanted to make a game where you can experience exactly that for yourself. It was supposed to be just a short project, just a few weeks, but then so many people liked the concept that we kept working oh, on it. Oh, maybe it's a new game. It's okay. For you to play on Nintendo Switch. Maybe. I'm glad we're Yay! Sticking it is coming to Switch. Sticky business. Oh, I've been you waiting for this to come to Switch. So let your imagination oh, I've been watching my friend play this and it looks so adorable. And ship them off to customers. Oh man. I cannot wait to play this. There are elements to choose from when creating your stickers and you can get upgrades for even more options wow boba ice cream books pizza and raccoons oh there's plenty all more. that and more and you can add effects like glitter and sparkles so combine whatever i played this on steam next fest and it was adorable i really liked it a lot but no shop is complete without its customers each one will ask for different stickers, and by fulfilling their requests, not only will you impress your customers, but you'll also learn more about their lives. God, this game's adorable. Music Thank you for the yippee! Driving to motivate her students, to a dad who wants to cheer up his grieving child, each customer has a heartfelt story to share. Plus, yes, I know you can do Twitch integration. I don't think you can do that with the Switch version, unfortunately. If you can, that'd be very impressive. Sticker elements, including habit trackers washi tape and frames get ready to build the cutest shop ever in sticky business both the game and dlc launch as time today oh i could get it today if i wanted to i'm not going to because i have to record a podcast and dlc will also be available later today that's cool it's today though if you're looking for explosive how we doing on time oh journeys we've got you covered with we're about a third of the way done almost indie games check them out all right let's see what we got sold it's great ah, that does it i'm gonna find out who did this and blast them into teeny tiny little pieces have a blast in what blast. the devil himself stole your prize spirit collection and you're on a rampage to get it back this is very we pizza tower-esque as dynamite anton <coughs> The animation's interesting. With a massive mace as Dynamite Annie to lay wacky worlds to waste. Interesting. I don't think Twitch integration worked for Switch version because Twitch and Switch is no more. Yeah. Even before then, it didn't work. And find new areas to explore. After reaching the end of each level, a detonator will start ticking down. So you've got to rush back to the beginning. Yeah, this is really Pizza Tower. This is Pizza Tower. For a destructively good time in Anton Blast. Launching as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system, November 12th. November 12th. Okay. It looks... Today and a demo Nintendo today. Show. Ooh. All right. Okay. Okay. First person adventure that looks very interesting. Valley very Peaks. Pizza Tower. As the new technician assigned to the peaks, you'll Valley climb, Peaks. Collide, and even use your tongue to scale the mountains. Wait, what? Setting up radio towers so the locals can hopefully reconnect. Oh, we're a frog. Okay. Boys, interesting. And other hazards in your way, the trek to the summits won't be easy. The art style is weird, but like it gives me like short hike vibes. Plenty to do. Chat with the froggy folks and take on small side There's something about indie games and frogs, man. There's like five frog games I can think of right off the bat. Easier. Or kick back and relax with mini games. Plan your trip to Valley Peaks when it leaps onto Nintendo Switch this year. Okay, we'll find out eventually. Year Walk, Device 6, Sayonara Wild Hearts. I, ooh. Very interesting art style. Like, almost uncanny, but, like, in a cool way. Also horror, maybe? I don't know. 
it gives me like an unsettling vibe. Yeah, very unsettling. Oh, oh it's getting more hormone. Oh, no. oh, this is horror. This is definitely horror. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's go. Lore Lorelei and the laser eyes. Wait, when did I? I am Elder Pinto, the creator of Europa. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When is that? May 16th. That's soon. They didn't I even do like Elder a thing. Pinto, Dang. The creator of Europa. Six years or so ago, I started working Europa. Why does that sound familiar? Time, and since then, it blossomed with the help of an amazing collective of friends, all bringing their piece of magic. It all started with the idea yep. of using watercolor art style to evoke peaceful and zen vibes. There's a lot of cozy games this time around, which makes sense. Experience ...and to tell a beautiful story through gameplay that's able to put the player in a state of flow. I really hope you enjoy the world that we are creating here, and I cannot wait to show it to you. Thank you so much. The face looks a little derpy, but other than that... Ooh, the background, though... Like, this gives me Palea Palea vibes, but better. <laughs> oh my god! This is pretty decent. Damn. Is, if this is gameplay footage, this is impressive. For the Switch especially. Oh, this is gay. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, this looks like a game I can get lost in, folks. I like it. Ooh, whales. Sky whales. I haven't seen that since the Dog Island. Deer. Sheep. If anyone. Oh my god. Dog! Whoever you choose to become. Cat! It's your world now, Z. It's your future. This looks really good. This looks really good. Later! Oh, demo. I thought it was like the. I, th I thought it was available today. Some pizza because the Teenage Mutant Ninja okay, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is cool, but. Ninja holy Ninja shit, that looks great, Ninja yo! That looks good. I have to try that demo. I'll try that demo Friday. That looked really good. That looked. Uh, that was so far my favorite thing of the day. Like I feel like I could get lost in that shit. This is cool though. I. I don't. I'm not really into Ninja Turtles. I'm sorry, but for Ninja Turtles fans, that sounds great. Oh, is it a turtles roguelike? With co-op? The four turtles each have their signature weapons and awesome abilities. For example, Donnie's attacks have more range, but Wrath has a higher chance of dealing with damage. Okay. After clearing each room, you get to choose from a variety of turtle powers to cut. It's a turtles roguelike. Interesting. Okay. I can I can gel with that. I can these powers reset when a run ends. It literally is a TMNT roguelike. You can spend in-game currency you earned on your runs on permanent upgrades called artifacts. Roguelikes are becoming very are very popular. I did not expect the TMNT one. Enjoy exploring iconic locations solo or jump. It's like if Hades met TMNT. Like if TMNT is trying to make Hades. Your team of turtles can drop. Maybe they can munch with some pizza. Now I want pizza again. Making for a no press play sash. Get ready to fight the foot when Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles July Fate launches as a timed console exclusive Ooh. on Nintendo Switch this July. Okay, all right, cool. Pizza's here. Oh, Cat Quest. I did not realize they were making Cat Quest 3. I think I heard about this. I have not been into the Cat Quest series. Is it good? Do people like it? The art style is intriguing, but I feel like I still have to play Cat Quest Quest 1 and 2, and that I don't have time for that yet. But hey, if you like it, that's great. Clean! Music's great. It's really fun? Oh, cool! 
Ooh. I did not expect Cat Quest to go hard on the villain design. A little simple but fun. Nothing wrong with simple. Nothing wrong with simple at all. Why is there no dog quest, though? That's my question. The ship combat looks pretty neat. Gives me, uh, gives me flashbacks to Sly 3. If you know, you know. Cat Quest 3. August 8th. Okay. That gives me an August title to look forward to, maybe. Sawadi from Phuket Cup. I'm Jay, the Lucas Studio Art Director. And this is my amazing wife and artist, Ying. Hi there. We are part of the creative team behind Stitch, a puzzle game about handmade embroidery. Oh. It is such a blast for us. Why is there no dog quest on um, Dog Island? Good point. Why isn't that on Switch? as we design a pattern called Hook. Together, we have designed over 180 hooks for Nintendo Switch version, and there are so many more to come after the game has launched. Our patterns are a fusion of personal experience and the community's idea. The Penguin mascot is a gamified avatar. Oh, there's a Penguin mascot. I know talent. someone who will love this. Oh, <laughs> what? Some content Okay. Creature, for example, Honestly, I, I, I don't, that might be their son. I would do the same thing if I were that kid. And happy fishing. So at the cup. Okay, that's great. On this cozy game. Ooh. Okay. Interesting design. Stunning embroidery patterns to life. Stitch together groups of cells according to the numbers on the grid while avoiding any overlaps. Wait, Figuring is this exactly like yarn Sudoku? To completing the hoop. From roller skates and teddy bears oh. to real life locations, there are all sorts of hoops for you to needle and noodle over. Yeah, a sewing in game. Different sizes, so you can take a quick break with smaller hoops or unwind with bigger ones that require Ooh. more careful thought. This looks like a fun little puzzle game. Whatever order you'd like, no matter which hoop you choose, Person each the one has costume. the potential to It's all right. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Calming experience that you can also enjoy with touch controls in handheld mode. After completing a hoop, you can play it again in free stitch mode and recolor it to your liking. Ooh. If the hoop seems too tough. Don't worry. A uh, handy hint feature can be used at any time. Interesting. Cool, cool. You can also tailor your experience with various Oh, accessibility. accessibility. Thank you. Want Thank you for that. Challenge? Try the limited time daily Shikaku puzzles. I like accessibility. These ones offer any hints, so you'll really need to put your thinking cap on. Oh, that does look challenging. Weekly hoops are also available. Each one is inspired by real life events and filled with trivia. So stitch away while learning a fun fact or two. Plus, once a weekly hoop is unlocked, it's yours to play whenever you'd like. Ooh, cool. Stitch launches... I had a feeling season. later today. Stitch All right. That is... Today. That is interesting. And it doesn't it doesn't involve our favorite Disney dog, go, though. Let's take a quick look at a few more indie games heading to Nintendo Switch. All right. Do we have a one... We might have a one more thing. It's not Silk Song. Oh, wait, what was this called? I missed it because I was saying it's not so long. Bzzzt. I like it. Wait, when does this come out? I'm sorry. Summer. Okay. Sorry for just playing that a lot. I just, I wasn't paying attention. What if they just put Silk Song in like the fucking like B-roll footage? Also, I should probably talk while there's like music playing here. Also, what is this called again? I missed it. Shim? July 18th. Okay, that's not bad. Ooh, I think I heard about... Oh, you're just, like, dropping in shadows. That looks like an interesting one. I feel... How come that wasn't mentioned? Ah, but that, but that. Who dab it? Animal Well. That's... Is that the one by... I don't... That alone looks familiar. Is that the one by Donkey? I don't remember. When did I say that was coming out? I, I'm sorry. May 9th. That is very soon. It lo yeah, it looks very interesting. Ooh. 
Uh, Duck Detective! Yay! Oh, man, I love this game, and I was hoping it would come to Switch. When? When? May 23rd. Cool. Yes, I will. that will be a day one. This game is very witty and adorable. <laughs> I'm so happy. Another Crab's Treasure. Literally, like, a week. It's coming out in, like, a week. Uh, we will be playing this day one. Look at it, a crab. We've got time for one last announcement before we run out of steam. Take a look. Steam. Not Silk Song. Sail the spectacular Ooh, Steam World. This long-awaited Steam World sequel. I've never played the Steam World franchise, but that's cool. The world have turned deadly, corroding the metal limbs and mechanical hearts of its robotic denizens. Now, it's up to you to explore the great sea and discover why this once essential resource has become a nautical nightmare. Guide your ragtag crew of steam bots in tactical, turn-based shootouts in a brand new adventure. Looks Hold, fun. Shoot, not my not my cup of tea, but maybe attacks. I get into it. This time around, you can explore the world map and engage in real-time naval combat. Ooh. Equip your submarine with a variety of weapons and items, then line up your shot to blast baddies. You can even befriend steam bots along the way. Recruit them to your cause. Oh, I do like recruiting people. Epic voyage together. As you get to know more bots, you'll learn how your actions impact their lives. Plus, with the new job system and in-depth character customization, along with over 150 weapons, utility items, and ship equipment pieces, you can strategically craft your crew to best fit the mission at hand. Your Steambot's jobs and abilities depend on their equipped weapons and levels. Each different crewmate also has unique abilities that can be unlocked. Crewmate? Of course, you can also steal and wear your enemy's hats. So many hats! I do like hats. Take aim and last box to bits. Hey, hope you're doing well. Steam World Heist 2. August 8th. Okay. Switch, August 8th. Nice. That's All right. For today's indie world. We hope you that had a lot more good show. stuff in it that I want thought of. Big thank you I'm holding up, I guess. I get that. And partners for bringing their experiences to the Nintendo Switch system. Follow our official Indie World account to stay up to date on the latest news from Indie World. Until next time, happy gaming! All right, so we have no Silk Song. What a shock! I know. What a shock. Um, interesting, interesting stuff. Okay, let me just scroll through. Little Kitty, Big City. That is one I want to try and want to make. That is one I'm making a video about, hands down. I know it's cute, oh, big city. Um, but like, this is one I want to get. Um, I legitimately want to make a video about this. I've been following it for literally like since its inception, like years ago, and I'm very excited for it. Hi, Reaper Dark. Hope you're doing well on YouTube. Uh, now I have to go back and finally finish Cat Quest Two. I got stuck in the final boss. Hey, you're more ahead than me. I haven't even played Cat Quest One yet. Uh, let me play some Nintendo music or something to go with it. Hang on, hang on. I need I need some music here. Uh because we need something. We need some chill indie game music. Alright, there we go. This works. Uh chat. There we go. Waiting for the day they pull one last thing after the one last thing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one a lot. We're gonna be getting that one. Little Kitty Big City. I should have a notepad. I'm going to take notes because I need to note this. Don't mind me. Oh, it's playing Minecraft music. The let's... Also, hi, Snot Ugly. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so... Little Kitty Big City. May 9th. That's sooner than I thought that would be. I was worried it would be later today because that would screw me a bit with the schedule and what I'm playing today. There are some, there are some games that do that. Um, let's see. What else we got? This one, uh, this one looks, is apparently a franchise, and it's by Way Forward. Way Forward is really good at bringing franchises back to life. I've noticed that. They've been doing, they've been on a kick with that, and this is one of that. 
this looks so intriguing mantle apparently this is a franchise that i've never heard of before but it's done on atari but like again way forward is bringing it back to life so that's dope yara's revenge was the best-selling atari 2600 game ever and now they're just remaking it so that's dope that's really cool when's this coming out i'm gonna i'm gonna write this down um 2024 we don't really have a release date for that i could see them mentioning it later okay not remaking rebooting Ooh. i didn't know there was a difference honestly this one i want to take because it just looks intriguing like this would this looks like a good one-off game i can beat in a day and have fun with or like beat a couple times when is this out i feel like if this was a later today game but it wasn't it's again the personality test is very interesting i like the fact you can share your personality test hey fubar random bystander have been so long hello hope you're doing well i appreciate you stopping by also 2024 uh this refined self i think it's called i do hope we get like 2024 that's really interesting um i'm gonna probably look into that one that one looks good. It, again, looks like a great game that I could probably go through. I'm going, this doggo is so cute. I love the doggo. Also, also Sticky Business. I think that's today. That is today, which I'm not going to play it on today on stream. Uh, Today. Um, So I'm very excited about that. I One of my friends loves this game, and I'm sure she's excited that now she could play it on the Nintendo Switch. Or that I will play it on the Nintendo Switch at least once. Um, let's see. Let me see. Uh, yeah, literally the, the, the it's the this and the DLC are available today. No problem. We met back in Realmsy streamed way back. Oh, hey, yeah, hi. I'm so sorry. Uh, like my memory's the size of a grape. Oh man, the Realms days we go way back. But I appreciate it. I appreciate. It. I remember Realms. He's one guy who really inspired me to make content back in the day, especially on Twitch. He's also one of the two reasons I got to play Persona uh, 5, and it's why I'm playing Persona now. Hope you're doing well, man. I appreciate it. We're just, yeah. We're just going through all the Indie World stuff. We did the reaction. Now I'm just going through my list of, like, what game games I want to play. Uh, this one looks really interesting. I'm going to write this down. I don't think it's my cup of tea, personally. Because I'm one of those weird people who didn't really like, like a, uh, a uh, pizza tower that much. It wasn't my personal thing, but it looks like a GBA version of Pizza Tower. When's this coming out? When is this coming out? I know there's said the demo is available today. God, this is look like Pizza Tower and edit. And, yeah. Uh, when does it say? Hey, on Niche System, November twelfth. November twelfth. Okay, and there's a demo today. Yard's Revenge came out in 2600-1982. They did make a sequel on Atari Flashback in 2005 called Yard's Return. Oh, nice. Yeah, I miss him too. I don't, whatever he's doing, I hope he's doing okay. That's all I will say. Sometimes content creators come and go from our lives and there's nothing we can do. But I just hope they're all right. Hold on. November 12th. And demo today. Uh, Claire, if you're still here, I think you should try that demo. All right, let's see what we got. Valley's Peaks, this is the one I really don't care about, honestly. This might be my least favorite one of the bunch so far featured. It looks cute, don't get me wrong. It looks fine, I like it. It gives me, it reminds me of a uh, short hike design-wise, but out of all the ones, this is probably one I'm gonna skip. Uh, if you want to play it, that's great. I recommend you try it if you do, but just not not me. Not me personally. Both this and Pizza Tower are obviously inspired by Wario Land. Yes. This game looks so interesting. I'm going to write it down. It looks very surreal and very horror inspired. Like this game looks like it'll mess with me in six ways plus Sunday. Uh, so I'm going to write this down, whatever it's called. What is it called? No, go back. The Lorelei and the Laser Eyes. That title alone is worth checking out.
And that's like coming out soon, May 16th. Okay. Oh, this is the one. This is the one. Europa. This one. This one. This this I might make a definite video about. Cause look at this. Look at this. This looks beautiful. And yeah, this is this could this argue could be all pre-rendered for all we know. But like later, they just flat out show gameplay. This this looks like gameplay. And yeah, it may not be the like sturdiest thing on the Nintendo Switch. But like, man, oh my god, this looks beautiful. Yeah, check out the remake if you want. I I definitely want to play uh uh Yar's Revenge. I do. I do. Or at least the, the one that's coming out in 2024. This one looks like I can get lost in. It looks like it has elements of Breath of the Wild and exploration. I really think it's a cool one. So I'll have to give this one a shot whenever it comes. When does it come out? Did it have a release date? I don't remember. I, I don't know. It, it looks really good. Oh, there's a demo today. We might play that Friday. As for this one, Ryan Atari's way forward experience hands, the Yars franchise becomes an expensive mystery solved through 2D platforming action. Take control of the young hacker. Ooh, that's a whole thing. Yeah, I trust way forward. Way forward does a damn good job. They are making so many games. Oh my God, they just never stop. They make so many games. They're like, didn't they announce like a slapping game on limited run? I think they're they're cooking. They're cooking something. They're always cooking something. Way forward. Uh, I'm personally not gonna get this one. It looks cool, especially if you're into roguelikes. But I've had my roguelike fill. I've been playing Hades off stream. I got side order. And if you are into Hades and TMNT, this is this this is gonna be for you. You're gonna love this. You are going to adore this, I'm sure. But me. Uh, I'm gonna probably skip. I am gonna look up when the release date is, though. Let me see. When does it come out? July. Which, again, very soon. Very, very soon. Cat Quest 3. Looks adorable. I don't want to... I'm probably not gonna play it. I'll be completely honest. It's not my cup of tea. But those who are a fan of Cat Quest and have been following the franchise, this looks to be up your alley. I might try the first one, though. Or make a video about the whole trilogy once they all come out. Something people can request on Patreon. <laughs> it looks a lot less rogue and more like the X-Men Legends game. You do have a point there, Mantle. So yeah, action role-playing. I, I, it does have roguelike elements because it does mention about you getting power-ups after every floor and then you like losing them once you die. So there's definitely it's def it could be an action with rogue like elements. I see that. But yeah, this this looks cool. This is like action RPG, I think. Like king similar like combat with like Kingdom Hearts. Oh, demo is available today too. All right, dope. Okay, this is yarn game. This is also available today. And I really really want to try it. Stitch this looks very intriguing, very, very cute. And I feel like this would be a great puzzle game that I know a few people would love. Um, it doesn't seem too challenging. The colors are nice. The fact that you can like have weekly challenges as well to do different images. Um, also, the accessibility, really awesome. Uh, you, you don't see much accessibility in Nintendo games, so it's nice to see them in these indie games. I definitely want to try it. And it's out today. Is there a free demo? That is my question. Is there a demo? I don't know if there would be for this game because if, if it is out today, but there could be. It looks very adorable. Wait, let me see. What others? There's colorblind mode, reduce motion, disables all sudden movements, big numbers, increases the size of numbers, left hand mode. Okay, that's really good. My favorite yarn game is called Woven. I've heard of... I, that name rings a bell, but I don't know it. Yeah, left... Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff. 
There's a lot of good stuff with this. And I feel like this is a perfect cozy game for people who just want to get into it. Left hand mode is dope. I'm I'm a righty, so I don't know the struggle of being left handed, but that's really cool that they did think of that. Yeah, available today. No demo, but I have to look up how much it is. I might play it on stream. Uh Friday instead of Pokemon. Nice. Lefties rejoice. Uh, Let's see. Oh, this is where we get the sizzle reel. Bzz, looks cool. Not my cup of tea, but like, I feel like a lot of people would really like it. I love the art design. Really dope. Uh, shim? I can't pronounce that. But that's, again, it's cool how you're able to just like jump through shadows like they're puddles. Really unique concept here. Uh, Animal Well. Is this... Is this the Donkey game? I think this is the Donkey game. It looks pretty fun. I probably will try it just because it is the Donkey game. If it is the Donkey game. Uh, made by the YouTuber Donkey. If it's not, I'll still try it anyway. Duck Detective. We played on a whim. Um... Um... On Steam Next Fest because it looked cool sold i will play it i will hope i will beg for a code of course but i will happily give the game a chance the day day one and it's coming out soon may 23rd oh no it's the same day as thousand year door oh no i'll play both but like that oh i'll play you duck detective i will Oh. oh, man. I love Duck Detective, and it's appropriate for it to come out, but, like, Thousand Year Door. Thousand Year Door. I'll be sure to, like, I'll be sure to give it a shot. I promise. I love you, Duck Detective. Maybe, maybe they'll send me a code early so I can play it before then. I would like that. I'll do that. Deductions are great. This, this game was great. It's so witty. Another crab's treasure. We are literally... Hold on. I need to write down Duck Detective. And this this game, Another Crab's Treasure, we are playing day one. I, I'm, I'm already... I'm hoping to get a copy of the game. But if I don't, I will get it, buy it anyways. And just play it, like, the Friday after. Because it looks like a cute game. And I've been hyped up for it ever since. I do not like Soulsborne games. But a crab Souls-like. You got me there. Chef's kiss. Anything where you play a crab I will love. Birthday so I can experience it for the very first time. I hope you do. I hope you do. Um, Steam World? I'm not really into the franchise personally. Uh, it's great if you are. I, if you really like it, that's great. I've never been personally into Steam World, mostly just because I never had a chance to try it. I feel like I would start with like Steam World One and then just play each one as it goes. Uh, so I'm probably not gonna get it or cover it. If you like Steam World, though, this looks like a fun thing for you. I'm glad. I'm really hope you enjoy it. Um, I, it looks cool. If it, it does, the designs of the robots are like really fun, and the gameplay looks fun. The naval combat looks great. I just, I'm just not. Not on my top priority list. I mostly got a 3DS copy because of the Fire Emblem Amiibo fe features of Steam World. Interesting. I didn't know there was a Fire Emblem features in that. Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, so far, even with again no Silk Song, what a shock! If you were expecting Silk Song, stop it. We are not gonna get Silk Song on an indie direct i i had a i had a thing maybe because they did like announce an age rating for the game which means that they're working on it but also no if it's silk song will either be announced in summer games fest or an actual nintendo direct i guarantee it it, it does or game awards if we really want to wait that long but like, I guarantee Silk Song has built up so too much hype. And I don't want to say that it's above Indie World. 
I want to say that Indie World is more about discovering new games that don't get a lot of attention. Silk Song has already too much attention. It's going to be mentioned in a... It's going to be mentioned... Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. It's going to be mentioned either in... Uh, what's it called? It's going to be mentioned either in... Summer Games Fest, Game Awards, or Nintendo Direct. Because it has enough attention on its own. And it's going to get enough people going. This is about letting... This is about introducing people who are looking for it. Because now, offense... The indie world isn't really advertised. A lot of people I follow, even content creators, didn't even know what was going on. So I'm happy I was able to bring some life into it. Um, yeah. What? That's... That's about it. I'm glad I watched it. There was a lot of games I wanted to try. I, I had a feeling Little Kitty Big City would get an release date, and I'm very, very happy about that. We are going to be... I have some games we're going to be adding to the schedule. Uh, go fall Indie World NA, please. They also let you know some good games going on. They're great. And, uh, yeah. I'm probably gonna end the stream here. Let's start with, uh, YouTube then. Uh, all you guys watch. First off, who followed? Thank you for the follow. Um, I don't have follower alerts on, but I, it does let me know if someone follows. So if you want to say if you follow, that's great. But I'm, they're anonymous. So thank you for following. Um, I am going to end the stream today uh, because this is literally all that we wanted to watch. So I'm going to end the YouTube stream. So uh, yeah. Bye YouTube. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe and watch my other videos because I'm very, I'm, I just made YouTube partner, um, which is great. But I also need a couple more watch hours to get the ad revenue. So watch, watch this, I guess. Thank you. All right. Ending that. And we're